am back with another video. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have a hodgepodge of things. Got a little bit of skincare, body care, makeup. Um, let's see, what else? A fragrance and I have a pair of shoes. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the first item. And the first item would be a cream and this is Get Showy. And this is by Molly's. I'm gonna put the name across the screen and I, I know I'm probably butchering the name and if I am just let me know down in the comments but I really love this for hydration and especially if sometimes let's say I get caught slipping on my body care I like to apply it to my feet or my elbows or my knees just any place where I have issues with hydration or just parts of the body that you really don't want that ashy look and I have to admit a lot of times I even give it to my husband um, cause I remember one time we were about to go somewhere and I looked down, <laughs> I looked down I was like, do you have a white sock? <laughs> I was like, cause I looked for a while I'm thinking, he, I know he don't have a white, I don't think he had. It was ash y'all. So sometimes I do give this uh, to my husband and it's super hydrating. Uh, let's say you have eczema or really just really itchy dry skin this will definitely do it and i love the fact that the cream is the same color as the container isn't that cute and it has a little bit of a scent to it it's very pleasant nothing that's going to irritate you or get on your nerves after you apply it it quickly dissipates at night i like to put this on my feet and if you've been around watching me for a while you know that I like to you know put whatever foot product that I'm gonna put on and then put some socks on it and then in the morning oh my goodness feet just heavenly but yeah it works really well and I mainly use it on those three body parts like my feet my elbows and my knees sometimes I'll put it like on my uh, on my neck or on my shoulder sometimes I'll do that but I mainly Keep it on the parts that are just historically for me and when i say historically i'm talking about from way back when parts that have just really given me issues with like being irritated um i just like to keep it on those body parts but if you ever see it and they have a sample out definitely test it out and see how you like it all right so next up i have a hair product and this is by bio silk and this is the silk therapy light uh, comes in a container like this now this particular product says that you can use it on your face or on your hair and I mostly use it on my hair. This is actually my second bottle of this. And initially the reason that I picked it up was because I'm thinking, okay, it can add some shine to my hair, but it actually works as a reconstructor for the hair, just trying to get it back to a more stronger, healthier point. And it's for thin, fine hair. And I know you may be side eyeing me when you say thin, fine. Well, it seems like here lately within the past year or two, my hair is just not as thick as it used to be. You can even go back on older videos. My bun used to be like, you know, just really, you know, really big. And I, I think a lot of that is just because of the medications that I've taken over the years. But either way, enough about that. I really like this because it really softens up your hair and makes it stronger. And you get that shine without, you know, just having something weighing down. You know, typically if you put, um, you know, there are a lot of oils that don't weigh your hair down, but I found so far this one ha is the lightest oil. Now mind you, I'm not a um, hair product connoisseur, meaning I don't, I don't buy uh, product after product after product, blah, 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 you know, I don't, I, you know, I just kind of, you know, buy different things here and there and I just kind of test them out on my hair. But the oils that I have tried in the past, this one seems to be the lightest. And I also like the fact that you can put it on your skin. I do like the fact that it's fast absorbing. However, when you first put it on, 
you kind of you're kind of thinking oh my goodness is this really going to absorb in my skin you kind of get the feeling that you need to wipe it off but you really don't but back on to the hair it makes my hair so 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 soft and i've just kind of been trying to switch it up here lately when it comes to the hair like i said you know I, i've seen some changes and i really do like how this has really softened up my hair and and you know what everybody wants soft hair right we all want soft cottony uh, really soft hair all right so next up I have a fragrance and this is black opium over red and okay all right and I know you're like girl more vanilla yes more vanilla but we do have a little bit of coffee and cherry in it so if you like the scent of cherry and coffee mixed in with some vanilla you definitely will love this and i know you may be thinking do i want to smell like coffee do i want to smell like cherry mixed with a little bit of vanilla but actually it is really quite divine and even though this one does have a cherry note in it i feel as though the coffee comes in a little bit more mixed in with the vanilla but it is so it smells so 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 good definitely go and uh, smell it and check it out Mm, the cherry accord is really nice but for me it's like the combination of the cherry and the coffee so if i think that if it was just vanilla and cherry probably not but i think that since they added that coffee note in it it does something to me it does something to me it does something for me so for the past month it's definitely been this little baby right here okay so next up i have a fragrance and this is actually a men's fragrance and it's really good for layering this is a fragrance that uh, my husband picked up one day we were just in sephora just kind of doing what we do shopping and he was like hey smell this and i'm like you gotta get it you gotta get it that's what i was saying you gotta get it you have to get it because it's very he's really picky when it comes to his fragrances he's like eh, i don't like that i've had it before and he's the type of person where whenever he he has a fragrance and he uses it up he doesn't go back to the you know pre he just moves on and picks something new so anyway um this is the stronger with you intensely and here it is and let me tell you this smells whoo it smells so good oh my goodness oh my goodness this smells so so good let me smell it again mm, this smells so good okay so anyway this is a woody how do i get this on okay yeah I'm trying to get the top back on so this is a woody earthy scent so you know right off the bat that kind of tells you you know what we're dealing with okay and i think that this is uh, one of those type of notes where what you spray is what it's going to be it's not going to turn into something it's not going to evolve into something you know whatever whatever um so there there won't be any tricks at, at least for my husband it wasn't so i gotta read off the notes because i don't know them by heart i just know that it smells good this is um, it has pink pepper in it it has chestnut it has let's see I'm gonna lavender and sage and I think that oh and it has a blend of amber wood and vanilla essence and that's it and you know what that vanilla is in it okay so it might be the vanilla just coming out saying you love me don't you you love me don't you <laughs> that's probably what it is it's the vanilla coming out but anyway this smells so good if you're if you're out there and you like to buy your man fragrances check this one check it's just a really good blend and it says on the sephora website that it that it's good for layering and no doubt i, I honestly believe that it could because it's just not it's not overly difficult it's not overly complex i think that this would be a crowd pleaser like if you if a man doused himself with this and you just kind of you know how they uh some people you leave a scent trail and you walk into the scent trail you would just be like Hmm, that's that's nice it's pleasant it's very pleasant um and romantic it would, no 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 we're just gonna say sexy i i just think this is a sexy fragrance so anyway enough about this fragrance and my husband all right so next up i have a skincare serum and this is by remedy and this is the um serum that's for dark spots now let me go ahead and 
I can't see it. <laughs> it's too little. I was gonna read you everything that's on the back, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's just too much. I mean, it should, we're just gonna keep it simple. This is for dark spots. <laughs> and that's probably my problem. You know, I, I like to keep things simple, like too simple. Anyway, um, dark spots. If you got issues with dark spots on your face, okay, and I'm always, there's, there's always something going on with the face for me, you know, where I feel like I just always have to just have some kind of product to address hyperpigmentation and dark spots, hyperpigmentation and dark spots, like as if there's nothing else that could go on with your face. But yeah, and this, um, this uh, serum is from, I don't know the doctor's name off of YouTube and it's, I hope it's not, but I'm going to put them somewhere on the screen. Okay, and the reason that I felt comfortable getting it and trying it is because I've watched these people for years and they always give an unbiased, unsolicited, or at least that's the impression that I got, um, uh, reviews and recommendations on things. Another thing that I absolutely love is that you don't contaminate the product. You just turn it and it lifts up just like that. And the product is, you know, kind of like a yellow product and I use it at night. So yeah, if you have dark spots, definitely check this out. It worked for me. Um, I'm pretty sure if it worked for me, it'll work for you. So next up I have a complexion product and this is by Nude Stick. This is the Tinted Cover Foundation. So right at the bat, you hear tint, you're not, you're not going to it's not going to do the most on your skin. In fact, I have it on now. So if you are, uh, uh, if you're in my age group, uh, 50 and above, and you just like, or you desire to have something lightweight that's healthy for the skin, that's gonna look good on the skin. Now, even with this on, the only part that I set was like up under my, like under my eyes, um, right here and my forehead right there. So, and I put, and that's only because uh, the concealer that I used was very hydrating and it was actually full cover. So I wanted to set that, but everywhere else I don't set. And if you're familiar with any of my older videos, you can see me do a full, full application and I don't set, especially if the, if the foundation is matte or, um, if it's on a particular part of my face, like back here, you know, it's really no need to set. Um, on my like upper here on anyway <laughs> anyway I did I have this on now and I didn't set it on the outer perimeter I really love it it's got lots of anti-aging ingredients in it so if you're looking for something really lightweight and not heavy and something that you can just kind of throw on and get out the door you would love this all right so next up I have a product that you know, people just don't talk about anymore and it's like a cult favorite of mine. I love it. I would recommend it back and forth, repurchase it over and over. If I run out, I'm going to go back and get some more. If I run out of that, I'm going to, you know, over and over. I think you all get the picture. But this is uh, by Inklot and this is the Sparkling Dust and it just comes in a little container like this. And I do like the fact that you get a little powder puff with it. So let me just uh, let me just swatch some of it just so you can see how pretty it is. So I just use that. So do y'all see that? And I know you may be like, girl, that's just a regular highlighter. <laughs> you have to see it in person. You just really have to see it. I feel like on camera it's just not doing it any justice. When I go out and let's say I wear something off the shoulder or just a little bit of shoulder showing, I'll, you know, I'll put it on my shoulders. I'll do the most. I'm, I'm do the most when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I blended it out right there so you can see how it looks, but it's actually, it's prettier in person. I would say it's more sparkly in person. Um, so, and I have one more thing. So, you know, I, I had to throw some shoes in there. These are the uh, new Nike, what is this? Nike Air Max, what is this called? Nike Air Max, these are so cute. Are these the cutest things or what? And you know, they really gotta be cute because even when, when I got my size, you know, typically, well, now I'm not gonna say typically. 
I say a lot of the times when I buy something and you get all the way up to nine and a half, it's just not cute anymore. You know, you go in the store, you pick out a shoe. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then when we bring it out to you, you're like, oh my God, take it away. But anyway, this is so stinking cute. Let me just hold up one. So anyway, you get the little bubble in the back and you get the little metallic part. It's just really cute. Very, very comfortable. So if you got wide toes or fat feet or whatever, definitely check it. It's so cute. These are so comfortable. And I, I will wear them with a dress, a skirt, um, slacks, or, you know, I, I don't discriminate when it comes to tennis shoes. I think it's cute when you know you see women with a little casual dress on some little tennis shoes or a little casual skirt and a top she has a little tennis shoe i think that's so cute right anyway that's it short and sweet let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these products and if you have let me know what you thought about it i'd love to hear about it thanks so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches Whew.